Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for 2.3 Hess Law. In this video, we're going to learn to state the Hess Law and apply the Hess Law to calculate the entropy changes using the algebraic method and the energy cycle method. Okay, so for chapter 2, okay, what I'm going to teach you is actually first I'm going to teach you 2.1, next 2.3, uh, and then 2.4, and the last one I'm going to teach you 2.2. Okay, this is because your 2.3 and 2.4 is heavily heavily related back to your 2.1 where you must be able to write down the equation uh, you must be able uh, you must memorize and able to write down the equation for a given standard enthalpy to answer the questions itself okay so without further ado let's look about Hess law so Hess law states that when reactants are converted to product, the change in enthalpy is the same whether the reaction takes place in one step or in the series of steps. Okay, so for example, okay, in 2.1, we have learned that uh, enthalpy change is the enthalpy of product minus enthalpy of reactant. But sometimes the information does not give it to you straight away. So what should you do is actually from a given series of steps, uh, for example, here is my uh, all this equation is my uh, H2 and my H3. So what could we do is actually we, when we add up all of uh, the series of steps here, we do get our uh, enthalpy change here from changing from our reactant to our product itself. So that's why I mentioned here enthalpy change is independent of the weight taken. So let's look for question number one. Okay. Find the standard enthalpy of formation of ethane given the following data. Okay, so from here, we're going to apply the Hess law. So for the Hess's law, actually, we can use it using algebraic method or energy cycle diagram, which one that you are comfortable with. But then for this first example, I'm going to show you both. Okay, so the first one. Um, first and foremost, what should we do from this question? First, find the standard enthalpy of formation of ethane. So we must be able to write down the um, equation. Here it mentioned formation of ethane is actually when one mole of product is formed. So my product is actually my C2H6 gas. Okay, and when one mole of product is formed from its most stable element. So from my C2H6, my stable element is actually my carbon and my hydrogen. Okay. From my stable element, remember carbon here from solid group 14. So this is uh, the stable state for my carbon is solid. But for my hydrogen, it's actually H2 gas. So write down the, um, the stable element uh, with the correct formula and the correct state. Okay, next what should we do is actually we're going to balance it up. So from here, okay, remember one mole of product is formed. My carbon product here 2, so here must be 2. My hydrogen here is 6, so here must be 6, so I'm going to write down 3. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is to write down the given equation in correct position with the enthalpy value. Multiply uh, the equation and enthalpy values with a certain factor, if any. Okay, so what does it mean here? Actually, from this equation, we can rearrange it, multiply it to, uh, to find our unknown here. So... What should we do? Okay, first one, from our unknown, we can see we have carbon on the reactant side. So, based on the uh, equation given, we also have my carbon on the reactant side. Okay, so, first step, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to uh, copy-paste all the equation here for my step 2. But then, from this equation, okay, the position is the same. But then, the stoichiometry is different. Here is 2 mole, here is 1. So, what should we do? All these two value we have to multiply by 2. Okay, so here times 2. Okay, so that's why when you write down the equation, write down the enthalpy values as well. So that you know um, whether the value should, um, the value remains the same or it will be changing. Okay, next is actually my H2. Because from my equation here, kan? So H2 gas on the right hand side, here point on the right hand side. Okay, next. From there, uh, we can see that here is 3. So for, for all this equation, we're going to multiply it by 3. Last but not least, is actually my C2H6. Remember that C2H6, here is 1 mole, but my C2H6 is on the product side. But from the equation given here, my C2H6 is on my reactant side. 
So what should we do? So we have to change the position. So it means the equation is 2CO2 plus 3H2O equal to C2H6 plus 7 over 2 O2. Okay. And not only the position we will sleep, um, we will flip it, the sign also has to change from a negative uh, negative sign, it will become a positively sign because um the species have changed the position. So we have done all the equation, we have rearranged it. Now we will simplify the equation. Okay, so when we simplify the equation, remember if the species on the same side we will add it. If it is on the opposite side, we will minus it. Okay. So it's up to you. So um either you want to simplify it straight away or you're gonna um uh, check based on this equation. Uh both you're gonna have the same answer. Okay, so first let uh, let me see first for the first equation, which equation that we can uh, simplify. So my two carbon, okay. Do do we have any two carbon on the equation? We do not have any two carbon anymore. Okay, why? Once, uh, one is because uh, the two carbon is, a, is actually the one that we want to find out, okay? Okay, so this one, we don't have to simplify. We can only, uh, we can write it down again. Okay, next from the equation is oxygen. Okay, check. Does we, uh, do we have any oxygen on the same side? Here we have 3 over 2. So when we add it, we get 7 over 2 O2. Okay, and then that is on the right hand side. On the product side, we also have 7 over 2 O2. So what should we do? We will um, simplify all the equation. Okay, so next one, uh, on the same equation, we have 2 CO2 gas. This is on the product side. Uh, and then we have here, 2 CO2 on our right hand side. Again, this uh, species will be cancelled out. Okay, next is 3H2 gas. Okay, do we have any 3H2? We only have H2O can, and then the 3H2 is the one uh, for our unknown equation. So, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to write down again 3H2 gas. Okay. Next, here have been cancelled out. Okay, so here 3H2O liquid on the product side. Here we have 3H2O on our reactant side. So, again, cancel. And last but not least, we have our C2H6. So C2H6, again, it's a product of our unknown enthalpy. Here, we're going to find out enthalpy is equal to X. So how are we going to find out the enthalpy here? We're going to add up all these values together. So when you're adding up all the delta H, make sure the one with multiplication or the one you have to change the sign, uh, you must follow from this one, not from the original question. Okay, so that is for the algebraic method. So that's the first method. Okay, the second method is using energy cycle diagram. So, first step, we mentioned to write down the thermochemical equation of which the enthalpy is unknown. So, it's the same one. So, we're going to write down the equation again. Okay, next, construct the energy cycle. Multiply the equation and enthalpy values with a certain factor, if any. Okay, so I'm going to refer back to my Hess law here. Uh, up top here. Okay. So, first what we're going to do is actually, um, we will start the equation uh, by using our uh, unknown. So, here is my the equation of unknown. Okay, next, we're going to look at, here we have my carbon. So, from the equation, I do have my carbon uh, plus O2 to uh, where we get CO2. So, I'm going to just draw the arrow here. So, what we have is CO2 gas. Okay. How about the plus? Okay, remember this arrow shows it is from reactant to our product. So where should we put plus O2 gas? I'm going to put it on the side here. Plus O2 gas. But then remember, because here it's two, all of this value must multiply by K. Okay, so that is for my C, uh, my carbon to become CO2. How about my hydrogen? It's the same one. For my hydrogen, we become H2O liquid. Okay, and then we have to add plus half O2. But then since we multiply at the start here, we have 3. So all of this must multiply by 3. And then the last equation is uh, my C2H6 plus 7 over 2 O2 to become CO2 plus 3 H2O. Okay, so actually this one, uh, we do have the equation here. So what should we do here? We're going to add plus. Okay, and then based for this equation, what we have is C2H6 
plus 7 over 2 over 2. Do we get this equation? So we have to write down from here to here plus 7 over 2 over 2 and the enthalpy. So from here, from our Hess law, as we can see, it's actually, okay, the, the one root taken is the same as several steps taken here. Okay, so we know that from this equation, okay, from this down here, what we should get is actually a counterclockwise arrow. But then from here, our equation, our arrow is towards this. So what should we do? We should flip the sign. Okay, flip the sign here and then flip the sign for our enthalpy as well, delta H. Okay, so then we do get our equation. So from here, we can find out our delta H. Here, H ni the same as our H1. Uh, H2 and H3 is the same as this one. Okay, so we can calculate the delta H. Okay, so from here, you will get the same answer for step, um, for algebra method. Okay, for the energy cycle diagram, okay, the thing that you should be careful is, is actually the last equation here. Uh, you must be able to know that uh, for here, we have to change the sign. Okay, uh, but then again, for me personally, uh, algebra method is quite straightforward. Uh, it's up to you which one you're comfortable with. Uh, comfortable with. But sometimes the question do ask you um, to draw it in terms of energy cycle diagram. Okay, so just to make sure, um, up to you which one you're going to do it. Uh, for the example number two, I believe you could try yourself, where uh, only for example two, uh, you should do it for both of the method. For example three, four, and example five here, uh, you should do it uh, in uh, any method that you're comfortable. So it's either algebraic or energy cycle diagram. Okay. So, next question that we're going to look at is actually example number 6. So, here, example number 6, uh, the, the question is not given, uh, it's not written in your notes, so please add in. Okay, so here it mentioned that, so given the entropies of formation for Fe2O3 and Al2O3 are uh, this value respectively. Okay, calculate the entropy of the reaction. Okay, so this is uh, actually an example where the equation is not given to you. Because for all this equation here, um, the equation is given. But then here, it only mentioned entropy of formation, or entropy of combustion. So that's why it is important for you to be able to memorize uh, the definition, to be able to write down the equation itself. Okay, but then for example 6, let's do it together. Okay, so entropy of formation of ferrum. Okay, so it means that form, we're going to form our ferrum as our product. So originally, ferrum plus oxygen. Ferrum is our transition metal. So here, solid. Oxygen is actually O2 gas here. Okay. Next, what should we do is actually we have to balance the equation. So I believe this one is quite, um, this is the part where it's tricky bit. I believe the um, balancing is no problem for you. Okay, this is uh, applicable for my aluminium as well. So, yang ini pun, Al2O3. So, here we become aluminium solid as well. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to write down the equation as well as the enthalpies. So this is the equation. So, what should we do next is actually we have to rearrange to get this equation. Okay, so when we check it, 2Al is on the reactant side. Okay, ferrum Fe2O3 is on the reactant side. But from the equation given, okay, based on the uh, equation that we have written down, ferrum is on the uh, product side. So what should we do? We have to change this and uh, make sure we have to flip this one around. Uh, make sure we're going to add change the sign as well. So once I have written down uh, as well as the flipping, uh, next what we're going to do is we simplify it. So from here, we know that we can simplify this one with this one, my oxygen. Hence, I will get the... Uh, question. So uh, it's quite straightforward. Uh, simple saja ni. So my delta H will become negative 848 kilojoule. Okay, so why does this reaction is kilojoule? Uh, because all the information, even though all the information here kilojoule per mole, because this is actually not a, a reaction of standard enthalpy. Where usually, uh, here is enthalpy of formation. Uh, question here pun, enthalpy of formation from ethane. Here is the combustion. Okay, so that's why it is important for you. Okay, even though the question give to you kilojoule per mole, but then you have to check whether the uh, question here, uh, the information, uh, the question that it wants, uh, uh, is it standard enthalpy of not? 
If it is a standard entropy, then you're going to write down kilojoule per point. If not, only kilojoule. Okay. Last type of question we're going to look at is actually example number 7. Okay, so example number 7, determine the entropy change for the reaction. Okay, this is the type of, uh, this is the question that we can use. Yang delta H is equal to uh, entropy product minus entropy reactant. Okay, this is considered quite easy. Uh, kira soalan bonus lah sebenarnya untuk kamu. Okay, from here, uh, this actually only applicable for formation sahaja. Formation ataupun combustion. When all the information here combustion or all the information is formation, then we can use it. Okay, um, how do, how we will use this equation then? Okay, first kita tengok. Delta H is equal to H product minus H reactant. So, what is our product? Product is HNO3 dengan NO. And our reactant is NO2 plus H2O. Okay, so from here, what we have to write down is actually for the product. Okay, here uh, HNO3, HNO3. Is the formation, so here formation ni, it meant for it to be in one mole. But then, based on the equation, here it's two mole. So, how we're going to write it down? So, here remember, it's two of entropy of formation of HNO3. And then, for the case of NO, since it is only one mole, so we're going to write down just straight away lah. Okay, how about the reactant pula? Okay, so the reactant pun the same because uh, my reactant is actually... 3 mole of NO2. So, 3 times my formation of NO2 plus formation of H2O. So, from here, uh, what should we do? We're just going to substitute it straight away. But then, remember, for the formation ni, check the stoichiometry in front of the equation. From here, we can use this equation. Uh, straight away, then we get negative 140 kilojoule per Okay, this type of question, um, actually, we can use this one or you can also use our HES law. I'm um, sorry, algebraic method. Okay, but then for this uh, each of the equation, okay, sebab yang ini, even though yang ini misunjuk soalan bonus, but this, uh, apa ni, entropy of formation is actually the extra question uh, that I will add in in your Google form for 2.1. Actually, an uh, example lah, exercise for you juga. Uh, to be able to write down the uh, entropy of formation. Okay, for the question eight, I believe you could try yourself. So, uh, it's why it's either you want to use this one or you want to use our algebraic method or energy cycle method. Because for this one, uh, all the information given is entropy of formation as well. Okay, so that's it for our Haslow calculation.